Is Albanian a Germanic language? No, it is not, before you start raging in the comments. Albanian forms its own branch within the Indo-European language family. But the question is less ridiculous than some might think, because there are many similarities in lexicon that suggest some sort of connection. I will look at a list of Albanian words that drew my attention and compare those with words from Germanic languages, mostly German, Dutch and English. And I'll share my thoughts and mark certain words that, in my view, seem to reveal a link. Now, there are different possible explanations for these Albanian-Germanic similarities. Some might be simple coincidence. Two words might be related only because they have a common Indo-European root. There might have been Germanic influence on Albanian through cohabitation, for example, from the time when the Goths settled in the Balkans. And finally, the precursors of Germanic and Albanian might have split off together from the other Indo-European languages as a group before splitting up itself thousands of years ago, similar to the Balto-Slavic group and the Italo-Celtic group, something that has actually been suggested before by linguists Smith, Hawke and others in the 1990s. Such a hypothetical Albano-Germanic, or better said, Illyro-Germanic group might have also included Thracian, because there are indications that Illyrian, the likely precursor of Albanian, was related to Thracian languages like Dacian, spoken in ancient times in what is today Romania. Speaking about Romania, if you are interested in the relationship between the Albanian and Romanian languages, I refer you to my video on that topic. But today, I will look at Albanian and Germanic. I do not have a degree in this subject, I just find it fascinating. Any good faith suggestions or corrections are welcome, preferably backed up by sources. Let's start. First of the personal pronoun you, which literally just means you, like in English, for polite and for plural. Only in English, the polite plural form has come to replace the original impolite singular form, which used to be thou and thee. In Albanian, it still exists. T and tu. Then su, I, might reveal a link with sight, zicht, in Dutch. Süd is eyes in Albanian. Also the U sound is interesting, because it doesn't appear in so many languages, especially in southeastern or eastern Europe. Spre, to express, or to speak. Again, it might reveal a link with sprechen, in German. Spreken, to speak. Especially the H at the end of the word is suspicious. So I'll mark this as a word that has a probable Germanic connection. Zot means God in the sense of Lord. I'm not sure about this one. Yep, to give. Gib mir, me yep. Again, suspicious. Herr means time or hour. Again, I'm not really sure about this one. In Dutch you have, for example, to rewrite, her schrijven. The word her becomes a suffix, pasted to a verb. But at the other hand, you also have in Spanish, the word hora is written with an H. So again, I'm not sure about this one. Then we have bread, book. That might be related to, to bake, the word to bake. Bakken in Dutch. Then we have a few words that seem to have been borrowed if they are from, if they have a link, some kind of link to Germanic. They seem to have been borrowed from other concepts like hun knows, vogel means small and means bird in German, and barth, which means white which might come from beard, but stöppi, the house, might be related to step, in Dutch stoop, which is like the porch, schoi, to go, gaan, going, gehen, juskon, you go, in plural or in polite, in a low Saxon Dutch dialect, juskon, juskon, Dorgoi, 
to send. Again, might be related to drag, tragen, dragen. Then vdekja, which means death. The V in front of it might have been also a kind of preposition that has been pasted to the word or that has disappeared in the Germanic languages. But I'm not 100% sure if this is related to the word death or dying or dote. Nyeri, which is human or person. Jede, iemand, jemand. Note that also in Albanian, nje is one. Bolk, maybe related to bulk. Beer, sun. Could be related to the word to bear or to Scandinavian ban, meaning children. Although I'm not 100% convinced about this one. Spät, which means fast. Spät in German, meaning late, and spoed in Dutch, meaning urgent. Yeah, this is again a likely candidate. Then we have me, meaning with. In Dutch it's met, and in German it's meet. But this could also just be an Indo-European thing, because also in Greek one says me, and especially that M also appears in other Indo-European languages that have a lot of inflections. I don't know how you call it, instrumental case or something. For example, the word friend in Russian, drug, and then you say with a friend, you say s drugom, so the M appears. And if you say in German, der bus, like the bus, and you say with the bus, you say mit dem bus. So again, an M appears when you're using the instrumental case, or however that case is called. Now we have an interesting one, gezuar, which means like something like congratulations. Again, it might reveal a link with the word gezondheid, gezondheid, and you also have gezoan, to celebrate. Again, gezelschaft, gezellig, especially that ge part in front of it is suspicious, at least to me. But again, suggestions are welcome, so if you have an alternative etymology, you're welcome to post it. Ndur, duur, door, through. It could be, but then again, you also have inter in Romance languages. So this one isn't uh, a real suspicious case, in my view. Same counts for ishte, which means was, but a similar form also appears in Greek. Yeste, east. S, e, yest. Vale, dance. Again, I'm not sure if it's related to vault. I will not mark this one as a suspicious case. Hapia, hapin, open. Yeah, it does sound a bit like open, but you also have aperta or something like this in Italian. So, again, not sure. What is suspicious, however, is the word jag and jagtari. Hunters. Jagd in German, but it sounds even closer to Dutch. Jagd. Jager. Jagtari. Show. To see. Well, this one is obvious. Show, schauen, schauen. If tochte, cold. In Dutch, cold draft is tocht. Again, you have an H in the word that makes it suspicious. The same counts for the next one, licht, which means light or easy. Again, in Dutch, licht, which means both light, as in luminous, and also easy. Licht. And finally, one more. Stuhl. 
means pillar or column. Stuhl in German or stool in Dutch. So, conclusion, I don't know about you, but I'm convinced that there's something to say for this theory of a Albanian Germanic subgroup of Indo-European languages that might have existed a very long time ago. Please tell me your thoughts. Tot ziens, auf Wiedersehen, Miro Pafschimpf.